right, uber quick. What I've done here is I've started off with a very simple uh, drum beat. Now these presets are just literally hold one key, like in this case Z3TA, very nice harp. Massive, my own custom patch called Winter. If you want it, just PM me on YouTube. Now, next part. What I was doing earlier was I was copying and this is what it sounds like kick as a quick uh, production. Mind you, these notes are just random. I just put them in there. They tried to. I tried to keep them as much in scale as possible. <laughs> pretty nice. Now, here's something also. If you want an awesome lead, um, amazingly enough, the 3 OSC stock, just as it comes in FL Studio, it's in all versions. If you route it to an effects channel by using Alt L, or Control L, there we go, Control L, it'll automatically name it, select a color, and all that stuff. Um, Highly suggested, add a flanger, use your favorite. Actually, you know what, let's go with the fluty flangus, or however you want to call it. Change the dry wet. Actually, you know what? Get a little bit of wideness. Blood overdrive. Post game, move down just a smidge. Now, I could cheat and just get a MIDI file, but I'm not going to. Actually, I'm also going to change this really quick. Just double click on the note and it'll give you properties. Oops, looks like it needs to be 8. That's 16 bars. Now watch this, go into here, pattern mode. Hit record. I have it set for a two bar intro. Just playing it out, literally. If you want to do it quickly, let me turn down the sound. Not all the way down, but so mainly I can hear it, and I can still say that quantizing is not the best part of doing all of this. 
tell you the truth, it's the most time-consuming thing. Dobby, you could set it to our contest. Auto quantize is nice sometimes, but not this time because unfortunately I know what I'm doing. Come on. Bring that over. And if you ever freak out while you're recording like I do, just keep the coup. Because you can always edit it afterwards. So now here's what it sounds like. There we go, all six channels have been routed. Now, this is the quickest way to master, and this is the best way if you want to get something that sounds really nice. Use the PSP Vintage Warmer. Uh, I like the mastering aid number three and four. As you can tell, it's horrible. On the CPU, on my case, because right now I'm recording all this video. So, for now, I'm just going to go without it. Do it this way. Now, if you don't want to crank it, do this. Get a compressor. This is the quickest. I learned this from another tutorial online, and it's to actually compress your dry kick about three to twenty or three to forty or something like that on this little setting up here. Attack sixteen milliseconds, and there's the boom. And you don't need to add gain if you don't want to. Now, for my hi hats, what I like to do is I like to just make it a pure sizzle. Snares. Give it a little bit more low end. Then with the fine tune, roll it off. Now as you can see, gain's getting a bit high. Drop it down a fifth, so it sounds like this. 